Hey, what is up guys? I'm so glad you joined us here today. We're gonna to be heading into our new series, Church Kids. We're gonna explore why it's important to be in church, our unique roles of being in church, and much, much more. Let's learn how to connect, build, and represent the house of God. Now you're probably wondering my hand is like this. Let me show you why. I have some seeds. It might be hard to show on the camera, but I have some seeds. See, after this message, I want to go and plant and do some gardening. So, let's check it out. You see, with these seeds in my hand, if I chuck it in the pot and just watch it, do you think it's going to grow? No. You see, the seeds, it needs soil, it needs water, and it needs time to grow. You see, the reason why we need to be planted in the church, planted in the house of God, is that it helps us grow deeper and stronger in our faith in God. Now, because of that, we're going to look in the Bible of an original church kid who was planted in the house of God from a very young age. So, if you came with me, grab out your Bibles and we're going to head into 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 9 to 28. Now we're not going to read the whole scripture because it's actually quite a long story, but I'll just quickly give you the short version of it. The church kid in the story is called Samuel. Samuel, he would go on to be one of the greatest prophets in Israel, but when he was very little, he was given to work in the house of God from that age. And it starts off like this. There's a lady named Hannah and she loved the Lord but she couldn't have any children despite how much she tried. So she went to the tabernacle, it was like this portable church back in the Old Testament, but she went to the tabernacle to go and pray to God and beg God for a child. And when she said this prayer, she also included that if she was to be blessed with a child, then she'll give him back to God when he grows up. Now, the priest Eli was there at the same time, and they overheard Hannah. They started talking, and afterwards, Eli blessed her and sent her on her way. Once she left, Eli then prayed to God and asked him to answer Hannah's prayers. Shortly after, Hannah became pregnant, and she gave birth to a son named Samuel. Now, as Samuel started to grow up a little bit, moving from milk to solid foods, Hannah decided that it was time to give him back to the house of the law. Because remember, she prayed if she was to get a child, she would give him back to God. So Samuel was given to the priest, Eli, and he learned the scripture of God, learned how to build his faith in God, which also led to part of the events in the next story where he hears the voice of God. All of that because he was planted in the house of God. And heading back to this plant right here, you see the seeds by itself can't grow. It needs soil, it needs water, and it needs time. So when we are planted in the house of God, it helps us grow our faith deeper and stronger. And like plants itself, it doesn't come in an instant. You see, you don't see it just shoot up just like that, you know, not like the magic beans, but I wish it could. But anyways, it takes time. So it's, take, it's gonna take time in order for us to put our roots deeper in our church, which one, helps us learn how to worship God. Number two, learns how to connect with God. Number three, learn how to share the love of God to others. All these great things are just why is it so awesome of being a church kid. So, if you haven't already, you need to find yourself a local church. Find a house of God where you can plant yourself in to receive the Word of God, learn more about God, and learn how to share that love of God to other people. Father, I pray every child that's watching this right now, restore their love for you and for your church, Lord God. 
I pray upon their parents and caregivers, Lord God, equip them with your word. Lord God, may they be led by your spirit and not by their flesh, Lord God. Father, I thank you, Lord God. May you surround these children, these parents with right people, with the right leaders who can help them lead them closer to you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Now, some of us who may be watching, you might not even know who this God or Jesus is that we're talking about. Well, God loved you so much that he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross to forgive us of our sins and to make us whole with God. How crazy is that? Because remember, sin, the things that are bad, things that miss the mark, you know, things that upset God, that's what separated us from him. But because Jesus died on the cross, that barrier is now lifted and we can now have a relationship with God just like how Adam did back in the Garden of Eden. And if you are here watching today and you want that relationship with God, I'm going to lead us through a prayer very shortly where you can accept Jesus as your Lord and Saviour. And if that's you, I want you to give me a, a massive wave right now. Give me a massive wave, give me a massive wave. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So when we say this prayer, I'm going to say one line. I want you to repeat that line after me. You guys ready? Okay. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me. And thank you for giving me life. I'm sorry for the things that I've done wrong. Please remove the sin that blocks me from you. I believe in you. Be my Lord and my saviour, my best friend, now and forever. Amen. 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 Oh, huge congratulations to everyone who's made that decision today. We're so blessed to have you join us here. Remember, if you haven't already, find yourself a local church to be planted in. If you want, head on to thericechurch.com and find the nearest location to you, or find another church to be planted in to help learn more about God, our unique calls from God and how we can participate in this plan to save humanity. Awesome. Be blessed, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.